good afternoon everyone i am rupesh shrestha and i am uh, undertaking the course on design engineer master certification program from skilling i uh, i want to thank my support in technical support engineer sonder rajan uh, rajan for being such a great in helping uh, out me whenever i require any help in the course my project title for the independent project for the end of uh, ultimate solid work course is a project on tree plantation tree planting hexacopter which you can see here so uh, to talk about the introduction and the need for this uh, hexacopter we can see that there have been lot of innovation and so, so many advanced technology for doing so many things what uh, whenever wherever people we we people require uh, any product or any innovation kind of thing in terms of production or, or in terms of owning or anything we can destroy a forest in within seconds uh, using massive machines and uh, such a advanced technology we have built and we have a very advanced technology in case of drones for the agricultural purpose also but we have uh, but why not uh, use of drones in terms of planting trees because every year about uh, 3.5 to 7 billion of trees are cut down and Uh, every year a lot of forests a lot of uh, thousands of hectares of forest are being destroyed by the uh, forest like amazon bushfire and australian bushfire uh, that happened this year if we uh, try to if we uh, try to apply a drone uh, if we try to employ a drone in in this kind of uh, application in terms of uh, planting trees the scale of this can uh, be so high that the rate of planting trees can be uh, 10 times uh, more than 10 times faster than the conventional method or the traditional method in which uh, people have to dig a hole and put the sapling into the hole i have uh, uh, designed all the parts using solid molding uh, feature uh, in the solid works uh, molding environment and there are in total 48 different uh, components and with the iteration with different uh, repetition there is uh, in total 216 components within this uh, whole design and uh, it is a massive uh, drone because uh, it is over 200 uh, 2 meter i mean the diameter in from the top view when the propellers are at the farthest uh, position and here i have considered so many things for the uh, design uh, criteria uh, for the tree plantation purpose uh, along with the common application and common requirements uh, for the drone in this left side i have added some more points uh, that has to be considered uh, to apply uh, to employ this drone as a tree planting uh, application so that uh, includes something like a live camera gps module and uh, a stable design because uh, we don't require uh, i mean that much of high speed but more stable design because it has to carry more load and walk through a predetermined path which i will be explaining later how it works uh in this design process uh i have so in this design process uh, uh, there are 48 different components as i said and i have used solid molding uh, environment for everything here you can see the assembly and i have made the cover transparent so that you can see the assembly of uh, inner inner parts and uh the di dimension for each components uh, like already existing components such as batteries and the uh, uh, standard components that are commercially available in the market uh, for example this motor i have used x rotor 820 model and the uh, uh, i mean the recommended propeller size at that is 30 inch of propeller size and the recommended esc electronic speed controller and power distribution board for uh, hexacopter and like that thing Uh, so for that dimension i have used uh, amazon as a reference because in that product description they will be uh, mentioning the dimension of overall height length and uh, even uh, i have even used the pictures of uh, some electronic components like um, video transmitting module uh, so that i can use it as a blueprint for easier and faster work so i have uh, completed i, I have uh, designed this uh, drone to be a complete a uh, design a uh, complete setup uh except the electronic and electrical connections inside this drone uh, i have completed all the mechanical and aspects uh, so including that there are 60 com uh, 260 components and uh, within that there are different kinds of nut and bolts uh, for the fastening purpose and i have used i have made excessive use of uh, solid works toolbox uh, within the assembly environment 
and uh, this the working of this drone is such that it works in two phase in the first phase not this drone but a small drone which can scan the geographic uh, location and i mean the geographic uh, state and and it can make a 3d map and then some softwares like gis software qgis software or any other software can uh, make a, a can segregate the area uh, of potential i mean reforestation wherever there is, there has been bare land or wherever uh, the reforestation is required and the path planning will be done with with the software and it will be uploaded to the hexacopter which i have designed so in the next phase uh, my design that is this hexacopter will go uh, as i said in the traditional method a tree is planted with a sapling which is already grown and germinated but in this case or a non germinated seed or which has potential to germinate or in some case a uh, germinated seed can be included inside a seed pod which is made usually uh, of some additives using carbon uh, components or any biodegradable some jelly kind of structure so it will be made kind uh, of about 25 to 30 cm diameter and it will be inserted into this uh, container so that uh, the, there is one pressurized canister which is uh, which works like the spray uh, can of uh, our perfume scent i mean scent bottles so that uh, it will uh, provide a necessary propulsive force for uh, pushing down that seed pod in the pre planned uh, location uh, as done in the phase 1 so here you can see in the cross section there are seeds inside two or three number of seeds so that it will germinate when it goes to the down and gets the moisture uh, along with the nutrient that has been already uh, included in the seed pod so in the design calculation i have um, taken 2 is to 1 thrust ratio because along with the weight it can carry it has to uh, it has to move high in up to uh, it usually this hexacopter usually flies about 2 to 3 meter above the ground so that um it can penetrate uh, the seed pod can penetrate the soil uh, well enough and then here you can see the drone has a very uh, high weight that is because it is a very massive drone and it is of 20 27.9 kg and uh, uh, for the calculation of this weight i have wherever i have designed my own component like the arms and i have applied material for it so that from that material i can Uh, get the exact uh, mass from the solid works uh, evaluate tool bar and another thing is that for the electronic components it will have specific value from the product description so i have overridden that mass in solid works and calculated the total mass in the assembly environment so uh, taking the thrust uh, per motor that a uh, motor can generate 13 kg so with uh, six motors Uh, or the six propellers i can uh, get 78 kg of thrust so uh, including the weight and the add is adding the amount it can and carry i can uh, get 10.6 kg as additional weight it can carry that means 10.6 kg of seed pods can be carried and flown by this drone uh, for the tree plantation purpose that means uh, 3 mm diameter of seed pods in 10 kg will be in huge number so it has a, a large scale you can see the outside of the design here uh, i you can see i have removed the cover so that you can see more in detail here you can see the flight controller is not in the center which i have edited after this rendering uh, so it is corrected in the assembly again and the dimension are as given here so and uh, as i said it can carry 10.6 kg of seed pods and it is stable design because the center of gravity uh, lies well below this plane of rotation of these propellers and it is uh, designed to have a longer flight uh, time and with a 12 12 cell battery and uh, it is auto uh, totally automated uh, it works in automated process because uh, i have as i have explained it works in two phase and here you can see a 25 second animation uh, of this exploded view of this uh, drone you can see the uh, how i have assembled and designed all the components inside it here some of the uh, support structure this is designed to be multi body part i i designed that part within the assembly environment using uh, in context features uh, uh, and external reference in the next 10 seconds animation you can see here how this slide uh, this container is slided and uh, it is 
uh, loaded and the seed pods are loaded into it. So yeah, this is uh, the process it works. And in conclusion, uh, it this uh, this drone is uh, can actually help uh, to restore the forest that has been damaged, that has been destroyed by deforestation or fire or any other purpose. So it will help to restore our ecosystem and uh, and allow us to work more on our and live uh, more because uh, it has it will not only help human being but all the living organisms in the whole planet. And here you can see some rendered images. Uh, I use Keysort for rendering purpose because I uh, my system can't uh, support a SolidWorks visualize and Photoshop 360 can't do that much of work. So for the reference, I have not uh, I have not used much of the sites uh, because this uh, has been done only by few companies like Droneseed, ERC Technology from UK, uh, sorry Droneseed from USA, and uh, there is another by uh, the Drenta Systems from UK and Amazon for the product description to get the dimensions. And this uh, this project uh, really has a great scope in the future. Uh, one thing is that the design can be modified uh, to make it more cost effective and more productive uh, and to increase the scale. And other is that the, the details about the mechanism of that canister, how it works and other things can be improved. And also that uh, I have uh, in this project as I have not put the, all the details of wiring electrical component, I have kept, uh, I have ad added additional 0.5 kg of uh, additional weight for the design calculation uh, that I have mentioned in the report but not in the PPT. The another thing is that by the uh, by we, why I designed is this uh, because this is, exists only in some countries like UK, USA and even in Australia but this has if it is done in every country wherever required and uh, it will be more uh, sustainable design because uh, just for the just because of the transportation of one uh, what to say one product it may co it will result into uh, carbon footprint uh, in so many means uh, so uh, this will help to meet our sustainable design goals the design can be improved and optimized through the simulation and uh, the design validation can be done